basically it's a steady ramp and then it just curves right up yeah if it was the stock market you'd be loving that <laughs> there we are good girl Oh, we got Air Canada pretzels. They don't give those out anymore. And books. I guess if it's raining in here, that would come in handy. Look at that, that's looking great. Yeah, right no, it's there. awesome. Place of honor on the bike. <laughs> I've run from Courtney, and I'll be checking the, checking the dog out onto the internet. <laughs> it's a beautiful day here in the Elk Valley. We got off to a very late start. I think one of the latest starts I've ever had. But that's okay. Oh, look at that, that view down there. It's a beautiful valley. Are you doing your part? Walking up the hill? Yeah. Whew. Not in very good shape yet. Okay, baby. Up. Oh, you know the drill. Good girl. Good girl, Mira. Yeah, I just had a fellow just pass by there, and it's been nice so far. And the people are slowing down so they don't dust you. Some are down to a total crawl, and that's real nice. Yesterday, already, just uh, riding in the heat and the dust, uh, I noticed a little redness in Mira's left eye, and I've seen that before. So. I didn't have her goggles or rec specs on yesterday, so we got them on today. And a reasonably new lens, different color. It's not quite as as uh, fancy as the as the mirrored blue one, but it's giving you lots of protection, I think, hey baby? Yeah, she doesn't seem to mind them too much. She's used to them by now. And uh, yeah, that, that'll prevent some degenerative eye damage in the future. Today we're headed down to, through Elkford and down towards Fernie probably. And uh, yeah, we'll just see how the day goes. Up. I know, it's hot. Let's, let's give you a little scratch. It's because you like the scratches up there on your face, yes. Cooling off, just playing in the mud. That water was clean when you got there. Oh yeah, check this out. Trans-Canada Trail, now the Great Trail, is the longest recreational trail in the world. The Trans-Canada Trail offers a range of activities through a variety of landscapes, embodying vastness of our country and the diversity of its people. <laughs> been uh, a long time pushing this isn't a very steep section but if you take a look through there 
up through the trees right up there and it keeps on keeping on and that's what the elevation profile looks like yeah it just keeps going all rocky not like this this is this is good stuff here yeah it's been uh, a bit of a bear this last hour or so but you're having a good time aren't you Mira yeah this is pretty nice what they've done it we rode by here when this thing was being built this is the Elk for Snowmobile Association warm-up shack. And man, they've done a good job. The only thing I could really use is water. And we would love to stay here. There's no bugs, there's lights. Yeah, it's really nice. All right, we're gonna go see if they have any water here somewhere. I don't think that they do. Which is too bad, because I guess in wintertime they don't care. Just having one of those moments, riding along, gentle downhill on a smooth gravel road, just through an old burn here. This valley opens up and there's these sharp, craggy, majestic peaks all around to the west. And uh, the temperature's just right. Uh, you couldn't ask for a better day. I'm not going down there for it. You want me to throw it, you bring it to me, okay? Don't stare at me like that. I think in a steering contest with a border collie, people have no, oh, you blinked. <laughs> Maybe I won <laughs> this time. Stick, baby. Oh, Mira. Is that your little stick? You're gonna have to leave it behind. I'm going for a ride. Yeah, bikes all packed up, ready to go. Nice, lovely little campsite we have. I don't know if you can hear, but the river is just over this little rise. Well, a little creek really comes off the off the main river. Yeah, it was beautiful and not too buggy last night, which was a real treat. So off to Fernie this morning, get a few supplies, check uh, the phone for some emails and a few other things, call some friends, and uh, that should be, and then we'll decide where we're gonna go. Don't really know. Depending on fires, we might go, if there aren't fires, we'll go continuing west, and if there are fires, then we might loop around, head back north, and uh, go back into Alberta. We'll see what the news says. Ready for a good day, baby? An interesting sign. No public access off-roadway for 800 meters. That makes sense. Dogs must be inside vehicles. Ferry Creek coming into Fernie. Ole, 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 ole. For you, Doozer. <laughs> Charged up some batteries with these cameras. Got some shade, a little bit of food. We're just rolling out of town. We're 
across the Elk River and looking over at the uh, ski hill. I've never been there. But it sure looks like a lot of fun, doesn't it, Amy? There you are. <laughs> okay, that was something I didn't know about Fernie. You might not have either. But there are unicorn crossings here, just south of town. All right, we're back on gravel. At least we got good rubber to handle that. At least we hired our favorite nice crisp gravel. Where are you going? I uh, just headed west. <laughs> she runs the show. <laughs> oh, sorry. That's awesome. You happy now? Yeah. Could just be my state of hunger, but it appears to me that the Trans Canada Trail signs look like three burritos. We have in there two types of noodle soup, ramen and udon. And then to start with, we have uh, Nutella and this is 100% natural peanut butter on a wrap. And you have kibble. Hmm. I think we need to eat some real food. Bedtime. Come on. Oh, good girl. Oh, I know. There you are. That's it. Lay down. Lay down. Oh, oh yes. That's it. Good girl. Okay, let's zip it up. Keep the bugs out. Down slope, flat left to right. Oh yeah. How is that, Mira? This is. They have warm water in the river. Yeah. Does that feel good? Steady at 21. Going up 22. 